Jesus, glory to God, you guys. Glory, 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 glory to God. Just came out of a worship. <clears throat> you guys will probably get this video. <clears throat> excuse me. Probably get this video um, later on, later on, between tomorrow or midnight, or however God lead. But I just want to just um, prophesy. I'm feeling this very strongly. And you guys expect this more and more. I'm being um, flowing as God is leading. <clears throat> he does this a lot on the prayer line. And just when I'm praying and interceding and warm for you guys in my private time, I'm not sure who you are, but Chantel, whoever is Chantel, I don't know you guys personally, and I don't like know you at all. But Chantel, the Lord said that he is working it out for you. He said he is turning it around Chantel. Chantel, the Lord said that he is working it out for you and he is turning it around. God said, Roshikabayo. God said, swift delivery. Swift change. I'm up here um, just cleaning up, cleaning up, preparing um, this evening time, cleaning up, you know, with, with my son. He playing his game. It's been a long day and everything. And today I've just been pressing in prayer and worship, prayer and worship and praise and just pressing in, pressing in, pressing in, pressing in, pressing in, pressing in, doing what I have to do, but just pressing into that place. And just came out of a, a deep worship and the Lord just began showing me people in the spirit. And I was praying and warring and things were being slain and keys were being released. Keys of deliverance, keys of breakthrough, keys of freedom, keys of different things being released for God's people and just so many billions of angels released, 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 and God started dropping people's name on me for me to give, and I must be obedient and do this. I can't wait, you know. So I stopped cleaning them toys and cleaning up, and I'm just coming on recording. But Chantel, Chantel, there you've been crying out about a situation. I don't know if you're subscribed or if you view, or maybe someone that you know view or subscribed, and they're gonna send it to you, or God just gonna lead you, girl. I don't know, but. You know, the Lord showed me you in the spirit is something that you've been believing him to do. It's a problem. It's a problem. And you turn to God and it's like only God can do this for you. And your faith says, God, I believe you can do it for me. It's almost like you are back in the corner, Chantel, and you don't have anyone else that can help you. Nobody else can help you. Nobody else is in the position to help you. And for even those that are in the position to help you. God is saying he's not letting them help you because he wants to show you that he's God. Hallelujah. He wants to prove to you that he's God. Chantel and the Lord say he has you. He say he's turning that situation around. I saw in the spirit whirlwinds of change. And I saw angels with chariots rushing into your situation, girl. God is turning that thing around for you. He didn't reveal to me what the thing was. But he showed me in the spirit. It's something between you and him. In fact, you was in your living room. You were standing up and you looked up to heaven and you was praying to God in your heart and you was just giving it to him. It ain't have to be an elaborate prayer. You weren't like so spiritually deep how some people, they get too up there in Mars or somewhere. No, you gave God your heart where, where you was and God said he heard you. Let me tell you, the same way that he moved for Elijah in the Bible, he's moving for you. Robert, I don't know who Robert is, but God is doing something for you also. The Lord said he's doing something for you, Robert, concerning dentist, dental, dental and ministry. And he said, Robert, for you, the money is coming, Robert. So I don't know if you got a situation going on with your teeth or a tooth or your mouth. If you believe in God to get it fixed or you believe in God to go to the dentist. I don't know if it's you or your grandma, but the Lord said he's moving for you with dental dentist. I have to be obedient how I'm hearing it because a lot of times when things don't make sense to me and I notice that I'm just obedient, that person that I, you know, prophesied to or pray over or God had me to get that word to. And this has been over the years. They'll say, yeah, this makes sense. Or that was for me or they'll confirm or the Lord, the Lord will just confirm it. And then soon it comes to pass or it's already happening in their life. So I don't want to quench the Holy Spirit. Even sometimes when it's different for me, you know, over years, I just have to trust him. But Robert, dental or dentistry, the Lord is moving on that for you. He's moving financially for you. It was something you was believing him for. You don't have to wait a, a year, Robert, to get this. You do not have to wait a year to get this. The Lord is saying, I'm going to have to release this tonight. So I'm just going to be obedient. I was like, I don't even have time to record, but he's telling me, make time, drop everything and release it. <laughs> I'm going to pray for the rest of you listening as well. But Robert, that situation that you was believing God for, brother, you it, it may take you like a year or six months to get that lump sum. The Lord is going to provide. 
I don't know if he's going to cause you to get a contract or a grant, but the Lord is going to provide. The Lord is going to give you favor with that, that, that money. It's something that you need. It's a tool for you and you need that amount. There's no going around it. It's none of that. It's something you know you need this amount. It's a, it's a kingdom move for you. The Lord just showed me a big, big key, a really big key, a key that could probably take up over one hand a big big gold key for you brother robert and that's your key and this money is a key for you the lord himself just say that he's going to give you favor robert just like he did with queen esther in the bible he's going to give you favor you're going to have favor with this money robert you're going to have favor the lord said expect it by summer or before robert expect it by summer or before and don't forget to go back and give God the glory. You know, Jesus said to the to the lepers, he healed all of them. He, he By faith, they were healed. And he said, you know, go show yourself to the priest and only one return. And the Lord said, well, they're not um, 10 or not other ones. But the other one came back. He didn't just receive his healing. He came back and said, thank you. But in this case, Robert, don't forget to, um, I don't mean to be off in your business, brother. But I got to give it to y'all. God giving it to me. Don't forget to go back and give God glory. You know, we talked about before in some other videos. Let me try to close this video out. Feel the Holy Ghost. We talked about before in some other videos. Excuse me, guys. I was crying, worshiping, just praising, believing God for myself and for y'all. So this is really personal, you know. And I just thank God for just whoever these people are. I don't even know y'all, but God know y'all. I just thank God, you know. But um, Robert, don't, don't, don't be like those that forgot to come back and tell God thank you. Don't be like that. Don't be like them. You know, don't just seek God. And I'm not saying you do this, but I'm trying to help you. Don't just seek God when you're going through something. But when things are good, you're like casual with God. You will say good morning, Father God. Hello. When you feel like it, you don't mind skipping a couple days because everything be good. This is going to bear witness with your spirit. You don't have to say nothing out loud. The Lord is showing me this, you know, but, you know, don't be like that. God has allowed what you've been through, brother, to make you more independent, but independently on him to groom you, to mature you in your faith. Also, to get you to stop leaning more on other people and other people's faith than your own faith. All right, brother Robert. So, you know, learn to um, humbly, brother, I'm saying this humbly, learn to seek and praise the Lord through good and bad. Develop that relationship with him, you know. And he's touching the heart of that woman as well. But, you know, make sure you're seeking him. Don't be like the leopards that just forgot all about it. You know, praise God when you get it. If that's for you, there's a scripture in Deuteronomy. My Bible's not before you. Literally, this is in Prop 2 video, guys. There's a scripture in Deuteronomy. We read about it. Talking about how we ought to honor God. And when he give us the land, don't forget that it's him that give us the power to get the wealth. It's him that gave us the land. It's him that pretty much empowered us. Amen. And another person that I saw, he only showed me y'all three, uh, specifically for names, you know, and there have been times where I've given words to the Lord for people and people email me and they'll say that wasn't that wasn't me, but that was my sister or that was such and such or that was my friend. They not even saved and that was they were or something or they'll email me or they'll come back years later or months later and say, that, that you remember that word and I'll be like nope because it don't be me it be Holy Spirit so a lot of times if I don't write I forget and people that I've counseled or mentor and prophesied over will tell you that I tell them write this down because it's not me it's the Lord speaking because I'm not going to remember if you come back saying and does the Lord bring it back to my remembrance because that's not it's not me it's him you know and so they'll come back and they'll say this happened just the way you, you said it through the Lord or this happened or look what the God, God did for me and God just confirms and it never surprised me because I see it before it happened, you know, but um, I only saw y'all three, the sister, the brother, Robert and Adrian, Adrian, Adrian or Adrian, you are a woman. So it was two um, ladies and Robert, Adrian, the Lord is saying for you favor. That's your word, sis. I don't know you either, but he's saying favor, favor. He's saying favor. That's your word. That's your word. The Lord said favor. He giving you favor. You're going to receive favor. Expect uncommon favor. Expect unusual favor. The Lord is saying favor. The Lord is saying favor for you. Glory to God. Now, Father God, I just ask that you would touch your people. I ask that you would bless them. I ask that you would breathe on them. I thank you, God, for touching minds and hearts. I thank you for touching spirits, souls, and bodies. I thank you for finances and releasing finances. There's someone that is on here. You are worried about how you're going to pay your mortgage. 
that's not the Lord's portion concerning you. The Lord is telling you do not worry about that. Your mortgage, I heard it clear. You've been up worried about it. You be you was up worried about it. And the Lord said that's not him. He don't want you to be worried. The Lord is going to provide. I'm telling you, I just saw that. The Lord is going to provide. Don't worry about your mortgage. Your mortgage. You worry about your mortgage. Do not worry about your mortgage. The Lord is saying, take heed to none of those things. Take heed to none of those things that's trying to uh, come against you or worry you. He know what bills are due. He know. He know. He got your bills. He got your mortgage. He got you. The Lord is going to provide. It's going to put your faith and trust in him. And it's going to allow you to give him a praise that you've never praised him before. Although you have had a relationship with God and known of him for a long time. But he's doing something. And the Lord is also saying for somebody, endoscopy, endo something. It's some type of surgery that you have or you about to have. The Lord said, peace be still. I don't know. But I just saw in the spirit. Uh, um, like a hospital room not not the hospital but hospital room surgery and I saw a machine like an x-ray and I saw like a tool and I'm hearing the word endoscopy I think I'm saying that so wrong but sometimes he'll show it to me and I'm like if I'm not familiar with it it'll go he'll give it to me slow but you will know what it's talking about in endo something endoscopy i don't want to say endometriosis i'm not hearing that i'm hearing endos endoscopy endoscopy y'all know what i'm talking about you medical people on here i could ask my sisters what, what that mean because they nurses and medical but i don't know what that mean but i just heard that in the holy ghost endoscopy maybe i'm saying it wrong or if it's somewhere close to it but that's the root word endo the lord is saying that for someone peace be still also braces there is a mother on here worried about braces for your child the lord is going to provide because and he know what that means because the kids pick on them your child believe it's, it's you have a little girl at school they pick on her and god is going to provide the money for them braces whatever the insurance don't cover hear me in the holy spirit god gonna cover and you're gonna have um more god is gonna bless you with money whatever the insurance don't cover he gonna bless you <laughs> Mm, Jesus, he gonna bless you with um, enough for that and more to be able to bless and be able to have some for yourself too. We serve a God of abundance, you guys. I'm hearing this. The Lord say marriage is coming soon for his chosen. That's definitely not for everybody. Because when it comes to marriage, you have to be prepared. You have to be walking according to God's will. His kingdom marriage. Now you can get married to anything and anyone. The devil can send false marriages too. But I'm talking about for his kingdom people. The Lord just said that because I heard wedding bells. And he said wedding bells for his chosen. For his chosen. So that means you've been prepared or he's preparing you. And that's going to be in his timing. It's not something that's going to just happen like tomorrow. Because for marriage, you got to be united with God. United with yourself. United with, you know, who God have for you and vice versa. It's not just about a wedding. It's going to be marriage. The, the wedding is the wedding. That's the day. Getting you prepared for the marriage. But it's about the marriage. And it's about purpose and destiny. And the things that you two will birth together. Okay. I did hear that. You know. God is going to do it in his time. And focus on his kingdom. Focus on him. Don't idolize those things. You know. So the Lord is telling me to close. I felt a lot more, but I'm not going to question Holy Spirit. Maybe that's just for me to release in my private prayer. I don't know, you know, but I'm going to um, get back to what I'm doing. The Lord is well pleased, you know, and I just pray blessings and abundance over you that is righteously here. You know, and to God be the glory for these words. Um, I don't know. I'm, 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 I know soon, guys, he has been putting this on me for like the last six months to a year, like I want to say last six seven months to a year that pretty soon i'm gonna to have to start opening up midnight calls because i war in the midnight i'll be up early warring guys whenever he wake me up i do my best to get up and war anytime you know and i'm gonna to have to be obedient eventually it's gonna be a big sacrifice to do it like with the youtube and the prayer line and things because but i'm gonna be up i'm gonna do it corporately midnight prayers and war and i do have some videos in here with us doing it but it's going to be something that i have to be consistent with doing for a period of time it's going to be new for me to do it in this way he's asking me to do it but i'm going to do it be opening up the line for midnight prayers and worship we are already on the line like doing bible studies prayers and worship and prayers and worship and just however he's been doing it 
and leading us over the last this year gonna be like three years you know with the line and stuff because i really don't want to play too much music if you guys notice y'all don't hear music really too much in my video because i don't want to be copyright strike some people are okay with it some people not i don't want that to you know so I, we mostly just play the music on the line and I'll give you guys the artists of who it is. You know, we praying. Sometimes we have music in the background. Sometimes it's just prayers. But our Bible studies we've been doing the last six weeks series. This is week four. We've been having music in the beginning. Then we prayed and we get into Bible study in the Word. You know, however God leads. So, But we're going to get into those midnight prayers. I don't know. Please don't ask me when because I don't know. You know, but we're going to get into that and some other things and moving more into praying. I was on the line uh, two, three times out the week. I'm going to get back into that. I'm going to have to. All last week I was on from like Tuesday to Friday and just praying on the with the YouTube also and just praying my private time, guys. So I'm going to go with this leading. I think that's enough, you guys. I feel like I've poured out everything he's asked me to. To God be the glory. I want you guys to expect great things and I pray blessings over each and every one of y'all that can receive the blessings love you guys and i'll see y'all back i'm the release this now actually instead of later tonight let's be obedient release it now um i'll see you guys back tomorrow lord's welfare devotional god bless <laughs>